Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Sword! Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. And my bow. Alright then, target practice. Need the bow for that. Ready your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back, or your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. Oh, See yeah. if you can hit one of these targets. Nice! Good shot. Thank Keep you. practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training dummy and ready your sword. Yeah, we'll do this a bit more. I think if I leave it held down for too long... Okay, right. Then it zooms in. How do I get rid of this, though? Oh, there we go. You can't pull it back anymore, and so it gives up. If there's a way of cancelling that, can people tell me? <laughs> it's not jump. <laughs> yeah, not bad. And the little one. So we wait, and it zooms, and then we fire. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Swing at the target with the attack button. A quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, and to the right of the target for a right slash. Hold the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. Good job. You're ready for a live opponent. Am I? To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. I made right click block, so it's just like oblivion! And Skyrim. It's exactly the same. Come on then. I love you. <laughs> Jump block. Keypad in... S well, I'm not going to bother with that. Whatever that means. Ow. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. No? Ow. I thought I was holding it down there. Oh, nice parry, man. And again. Well done. Keep sparring if you wish. When you are done, leave the sparring area. I think you can keep sparring with the Eventually this guy just, uh, just gives up. He just quits. He's like, screw this. I'm not doing it anymore. He says I'm not taking any damage. Because we're in the tutorial, and so it'd really be nice. There you go. Uh, didn't it? And they get staggered when you do this big attack, but it takes a long time to sort of make it work. Maybe he won't give up. I don't know. We'll get we'll we'll give it a little little longer. A few more of them. Ow, ow. It's a good thing I'm not losing health, otherwise it would for today. There we go. Please walk over to the table. <laughs> Just keep bashing him. He doesn't mind. But yeah, it's a good thing that I wasn't losing health, otherwise I would be dead by now. Because this is a stealth based game and therefore we should not we should take things seriously after this. And he's, it just stops there. And in here there is nothing. Sorry, man. Sorry, you keep walking into my sword. Okay, I'll stop. Right. Onwards! Now I'll put my sword away. I think I'll just get my bow out for that. Look, I've got to go near the table. Where's the table? Table? What table? He said go to the team. I'm oh, there you go. I'm already lost in its tutorial. Would man. you care for some refreshment before we move on, yes, young Garrett? I would. Please pick up all of the items on this table. Cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Once an object is displayed, you may use it. Have something to eat if you wish. Then you may proceed. Oh, the no, next no. test is waiting on the other side of the metal door. So, yeah. We have items that we can toggle through. Healing potion and key, pretty standard. The door is locked, but the key from the table will open it. To it unlock will. the door, select the key in your inventory. Center the door on screen until it lights up. Then use the key on the door. Good. Now head down this hallway to get to your next test. Yeah, locked doors will not automatically open if you have the key. You have to, you have to toggle around and select it. <laughs> Makes sense, I suppose.
Now you will learn new movement skills. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Now climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the gap to the other side of the stream. Good jump. Thanks. This obstacle is easy to climb if you know how. First, move close to the wall. Next, jump to grab the edge of the wall and pull yourself up. Good job. I am most pleased with your progress. You have passed the last test for today. If you wish, you may stay to practice your climbing and jumping, or swimming, ducking, leaning, or crawling. When you are finished, you may return to your chambers by going through that red door. Farewell. Farewell, anonymous tutorial dude. And that is that. The keepers were training me to be one of them. But I found other uses for those skills. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in, around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter, silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. Alright, here we are on the first mission. Um, I'm playing these on all normal difficulty. I think that's pretty wise. There are various difficulties, normal, expert and insane or something like that. Um, and each level of difficulty above the one I'm playing on adds extra objectives. Currently my only objective, if I would check that pretty quickly, are to sneak into the manor and steal the scepter. Um, so that's pretty pretty simple and straightforward. So let's just go and do that without any problems whatsoever. Right? I'm sure. Hey, I'm going to the bear pit tomorrow. You wanna come with? <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough. What? You soft belly. The bears have got these new muzzles with underslung <coughs> cheek spikes. Last time I was there, there was a real eye gouging. <laughs> nah, nah. It makes me sick. When I was a kid. Huh. Surprise you're even in this job. Oh, the blood, it just turns my poor tummy. Shut up, you taffer. You want blood? You should have been there years ago. Tell you, 
the bears then. They were something to see. Those bears, they didn't need no cheek spikes and razor collars and paw hooks and all that knifery you strips to them now. No paw hooks? What'd just, they do? Just, just bump into each other? <laughs> nah. The bears back then, they had claws as long as your finger and wicked teeth. Bears? You're toughing me. They look pretty mangy harmless, long as they're not wearing harness. That's why I can't stand the pits now. You don't know what you missed. They just don't make bears like they used to. Whoa! Killer bears! Would have liked to see that. <laughs> the guards are pretty amusing in this game, as they were in the third one.